Well, good day there, friends. It's Huey, and we're back for some more Baldur's Gate 3 in our ongoing adventures of Arnigal Fallen Song, the half orc bard of the dark and mysterious past. And uh, we <laughs> we defeated Kazador in the last uh, episode, and um, <laughs> well, how can I put it? I um, accidentally skipped the opening dialogue. Um, by casting a daylight spell in the middle of the ritual space, and um, yeah, the uh, the characters immediately immediately became hostile. Uh, so yeah, I um, I don't know what that dialogue is. I'll have to go back and uh, I don't know check out some other videos, and uh, yeah, but completely by accident. Um, <laughs> So it may have, may or may not have made things a bit easier, but uh, yeah, I, I imagine a little bit easier. Like uh, that probably should have been a lot harder than it was. So um, yeah, but uh, it was just yeah, it was a bit, it was a little bit silly on my part. But you know what? We'll take it. Astarian's free now, and uh, we've rescued all the. Uh, all the vampire spawn. So we're about to head out of uh, the dungeon, and as you can see, there's uh, quite a mess here. And there's the uh, the uh, little miniature sun that we cast there, and Kazador's dead in the middle of the floor, and uh, yeah, all of the um, various uh, creatures that we killed are dead, and uh, just no more. So. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. And, uh, I still haven't figured out, uh, the, um, is there anything in there? Yeah, I still haven't, there, there was that lower level, and I still haven't figured out how, uh, to get down there, but, oh, hello. Uh, let's go talk to Ulma. I should speak up. You killed one vampire, but released seven thousand of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. And our children. What of their fate? Casador turned everyone we brought him into spawn. I can only assume your children were somewhere in those wretched cells. You'll find them in the Underdark, although you may not like what you find. This is difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Casador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. Um, okay. Does she have anything else to say? I pray the spawn will stay in the Underdark. We will show no mercy if they return here. Oh, aren't you a complete bitch? I mean, yeah, no worries. So... I'm not sure how to get down there, if indeed we can. Um, I had assumed... Like, if we went... Maybe if we go down this way? I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. Well, you'll notice that the uh, dun the uh, this area is no longer red and blocked off to us. Oh, there's another door over there too. I wonder. Huh. I do wonder. There's a cave in here. this S 
so I assume kind of looks like it was added afterwards. I don't. I don't know. Um, it's kind of weird. But anyway, fire basket. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, well, may, maybe there is a secret to it, but, uh, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, you can see here, there's another door over there. Uh, I doubt we could get to that one, but, yeah. The other one we, we saw down beneath, down below, um... Yeah, it seemed to have, um... You know what, I'm going to go down and check it out. I want to see if I can check it out. So, I think, you know what, I'm going to go Misty Step. Okay, so that was that collapse section I was... Oh. Right. Bail perception. There's another crypt gate there. There is work to do. Alright. Uh... Can't cast it. Uh, don't have a... Level four spell slot. Hmm. Oh well. Looking ahead. I just hope um Arnigal doesn't die. Okay, so that's what I uh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, so this is a, okay. There's more. Seems simple enough. Caustic brine. Oh, I found a metal trunk. Oh, scroll of eye bite. Oh, and I need a short rest and I can get back up. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Here's scales. Ooh! Huh. Metal doors. Oh, there's a crypt gate there. It's locked. Maybe I can, uh, I can unlock it, draw out poison. Oh, tug of madness. What's here? Cool. Did I get these? Lots of, uh, lots of goodies. All this grape. Okay, send that to camp. Oh. There's no fuel in it. Oh, uh, yes it does. Still got a few spells, so. Uh, scroll of Cloud Kill. I can lockpick it, or I can try. With a flick of the wrist. Oh, sh shoot. <laughs> okay. Huh. 
I'd have to roll a 20. I can't do it. There's something behind there. I wonder, does the Starion... Oh, well, Starion has, um, Misty Step. I'll send him down as well. Found the trap. <laughs> Time to rest. <laughs> um, and I found a dirt mound. Cool. Wait, I have a shovel. Not over. Why can't I friggin? Okay. It's not gonna let me do it. Why, why can't I dig it up? Alright. Uh, come with me, Astorian. Please. Let's watch that fire there. And we're going to try and break into here. Because I need you to do that. Huh? Please. Oh, for a skeleton king. Now, I get a plus 13 bonus so I need to roll a, a 15 or higher I'm gonna give him bardic in inspiration yeah. oh, crap. oh maybe yes excellent so what's through here gloomy ascent City sewers. Okay. Better head back. Okay, so that would have been another way in into here. Um Huh. You know nothing. while I'm here. I don't know what this caustic brine's gonna do to us, but. Another step forward. Oh, can we like that? Oh, cool. <laughs> it is kinda cool, the. It, you can see it's trying to burn up upwards a bit, but. Can we throw that? No, we can't. It's all nicely lit. Okay. Well, <clears throat> yeah, for whatever reason, I can't dig that up, but whatever. Okay. We go for another short rest. Off we go, then. Off we go. Um. Wait, can I... I can't get back up. No. What's next, I wonder? Huh. Should be able to. Seriously, it's not... Oh, wait, hang on. I can't get up there. It'll let me go there, but not... Oh, dear. Alright. So, you know what we do, then? We go... Here, 
here. And we got a waypoint. It's back to Kazadol's dungeon. There we go. Let's solve that. Okay. Back on the dais. The elevator lies ready. Let's ascend out of the dungeon. head straight out and finally finally leave this place um, to find my way through oh yes this way Back in the city, finally. I wonder how Starion's feeling. Well, Kazador is no more, and uh, oh yeah, these are the rats I killed. Um, continue on our way, and uh, so we'll just do the next objective if we can. That's well, the sorcerer's sundries, so we want to head. To the next murder target, which is Alexander. <coughs> so let's try heading along the wall here. Hmm. I don't think we want to jump down there. Mind control charms, huh? That's a wooden chest we probably don't want to be... ...stealing anything from. Um... Sounds like Nettie. Is there a way down from the wall? Wait. Oh yeah, there is. Through this way. Okay. Back to the central watch tower. Definitely decapitated. Hands down. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, through here. Down this way. Is it Bunter? What has Bunter got to say? Oh, this is the guy we talked to before, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. 
Okay. So it's down this way. I think. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, down that way. So we go along the wall here. Splatters. What is his name? Splatters Do Doolug. Oh, it's Splatters. It's street art. If you don't like it, you can literally walk away. I quite like it, actually. Oh, well, that's nice to hear. Thanks. I, I... Are too big. And I don't like the colours. Everyone's a critic these days. Down there, the roofing, you know. Why'd you make it so big then? <laughs> Oh dear. There we go. Beehive goods and wares. Wait, what did I hear about the absolute? What's going on here? You're just making that up on the spot. Evaluation is harmless. Be patient while these citizens are evaluated. This is all routine. Make no sudden moves. Sounds a little, looks a little bit much to me. Uh, let's see. Do we, do we have to go through that house? Flims right. cobblers. I do like how they've made things feel here. Oh, and even the pigeons, holy crap. Jesus, attention to detail. That's what... Refugee. Oh, this is some gorgeous work they've done in this game. Alright, so the murder target Alexander is somewhere up here. Circus poster, nothing sus. Rainforest home. So this is upstairs. Oh, it's locked. Okay. So I'd be breaking in. Bibliophile. That, um, well, let's go inside now. Nancy Greta. Okay. Plenty of knowledge to be found in these books and scrolls, friend. That will stand to you long after the spent gold is forgotten. Very well. Let's see what you have. Oh. Lots of books. Lots of scrolls, too. I'll have to uh, remember this place. Could be good for uh, a starian, actually. So let's, uh. Oh, 6 to 18. I'm not thinking. Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hang on. Uh, no, what? Wait, why can't I. Oh. Because we're in the trading screen. If a book's dog eared, you know it's good. That's my rule. Yes, also means. People piss me off with their dog earring. 
No, it looks like that, that place is locked. We're going to have to uh, sneak our way in. Rainforest's home. This is the private abode of Alexander Rainforest. Friends make appointments. Clients respect office hours. Let's see his mailbox. Oh, okay, bloody night. The scrap of bloody paper is scrolled in an erratic, excitable hand. And you've been picking where you shouldn't, Pear Tree. Placing the Lordling's fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There's no art, art to it at all. Just burnt ash and corpse cinder. I walk through your basement here as, as I pen this. It's rather large. Roomy. They'd never find all the bits of you I uh, if I spread them out here properly. This Department of Drains and Underways is aware of an issue uh, of the penetrating stench emanating from the round tree hatches that provide access to the city sewers. A tribe of gutter kobolds contracted to maintain free flow in the sanitation tunnels appears to have been slain or driven away by forces or circumstances unknown, and the resulting backup is responsible for the unpleasant odour. The department is taking appropriate measures to remedy the situation, but in the meantime, do not attempt to address the situation yourselves. Citizens are prohibited from using the round street sewer access hatches. Leave sanitation to the professionals. Okay, so. Has to be access. Uh, can I go end of day? I wish I could. I wish I could go like night time. Still make things. Uh, so what around? Okay, what about the back of the building here? Should have at least locked the place up properly before they left. You guys got anything? No. Oh, what's this? Another mailbox. Uh, can I find a way in? I probably could if I jumped over here. Path is interrupted. Oh, I could get up there. stuck. I am stuck. Hmm. Misty step. That sucks. Oh, you guys, you guys can get up there fine. Ah, oh, crap, we're too late. I guess I'll just leave them down there for the time being. Um, uh, hello, come back here. I need some information. Excuse me, Mr. Rat. Or Miss Rat. Be oh. Right in the seesaw. Okay. Hello, hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down for the last crumbs. Hmm. What happened to your last cheese dropper? Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. 
tell me about this red man who visited Alexander? A dwarf, all dressed in red. He smiled and held Alexander closer, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. Oh. So many red morsels fell out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Very good. Even better than cheese. Alexander's dead. I feared so. A calamity. Mm -hmm. He dropped such good cheeses. Where did the dwarf go? Away. To make more people red. And to spill their tasty morsels. Go away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels. But it would be rude to bite you. I see. Tonight, what's this? Mate, we're worried about you. You've gotten too deep into this conspiracy nonsense. Honestly, it's making you dull. You're coming out for drinks tonight. The singing loot at sundown. You'd better be there, or we're going to have to come and get you. There's no guarantee we'll be sober. Right. Well, there's no guarantee he'll be alive. So far. Alexander got anything on him? Some rotten uh, Durenbold cheese wedge. Okay. Can we throw that? I'm sure he didn't die of like. Jeff, I got cheese record. Uh, I don't think I have Speak with Dead. Those scrolls like, like that. No. I would need a character of the uh, arcane persuasion to help me with that, but... Successful cheeses, red, white, yellow, sharp, mellow. Unsuccessful cheeses, smoked, blue, and waxed. He prefers his cheeses crumbed to little pieces. Crumbled to little pieces, right. Okay. Did I just miss? Oh, bloodstained parchment. That's curious. Yeah, I just saw it, so thank you. Oh, and a hatch. Uh, messy sliders of deep red, uh, deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's tribunal and enter the name. Temple of Baal must slay the targets on the list. Yeah, so we've already read that. Okay. We have a hatch. Uh, open this double door. Never mind, just an interview. Anything up there? If you insist. All right, you get in there. Keep playing close. Too high. Okay. We're good now. got everyone in here. So that's good. Let's check out this hatch. Oh, what's in the barrels? Yeah. I don't know why I had to go part way up the stairs to check it out, but yeah, apparently I did. Um, uh, anything in the fireplace? Maybe. Nope. A stuffed wolf, he wolf head. I'm amazed that... Um, Shadowheart isn't scared of it. There we go. Urban 
exploration of the Undercity. Okay, this might be handy. Intrepid hobby hobbyists who pursue the urban exploration of Baldur's Gate will find no greater challenge than that offered by discovering the dark realm beneath the city streets. Everyone knows, of course, that the city's sanitation needs are served by extensive sewer tunnels through which the city, through which water flows, carrying waste downhill into Grey Harbor. Once you find your way into these sewers through one of the round street access hatches, you will enter a noisome but intriguing domain haunted by mainly uh, the by the half civilized kobold tribe that maintains the pipes and uh, culverts. And somewhere hidden in its far corners, the sewers are said to connect to the long forgotten ruins of the truly haunted undercity ruins. It's thrilling to think about explorer, exploring that dangerous region, but for liability reasons, this author cannot recommend it. Of course, you cannot. All right, let's down the hatch here. Let's go down the hatch. <coughs> Someone's sending a message. And oh. I'm not sure I care for it. Oh, that was close. Um, can I disarm it? Why, why can't I dis... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I meant to just click away from it. Oh my god. Oh, Winslow. Who are these guys? They just blew up everything. Oh well. Uh, what do you got? Oh, found, uh, what's his name's foot? So that's progress. Found, it, found his foot. Found his severed foot. A foot smeared with paint, among other things. This must belong to Dribbles. Okay. Let's read this. The effigy of um, Abazigal, who soared uh, on shredded wing. What use his pride? He thought himself a dragon, but died as a worm. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. Ah, <sighs> oh dear. Uh, what did I spot? Bottled breath. What the hell is that? Faded skull. Oh, scroll of reversal. A time bitten parchment of this scroll flakes and frays, obscuring most of the content. It appears to describe the process for breaking an enchantment that has bound a mighty dragon into another surface. Oh, right. Bottled breath. Let's examine that. Single use. Scan the ability to cast a gust of wind once. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Nothing. And you are empty. What's what's through here? Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. Have traveler's chest. It has forty gold in it. I'm taking that for evidence. Oh, this counts in the Bullsworn Crisis. Yeah, I've read that one. Scrolls, I'll take the feather fall and what do we got? Tombstone shop notes, a dagger, ink, uh, yada yada yada. Let's read this one then. Okay. I come across several pointers toward the <coughs> Candle Hallows tomb step shop. So I decided to use my spare time for a while to watch it for suspicious activity. Indeed, the place is strange. It seems disconnected from Candle Hallow's main uh, mortuary business over in Eastway. In fact, they don't seem to sell anything at all. There's one callow shop who, lad who hangs around looking bored. Otherwise, there's just the occasional customer who enters and then stays inside for a while, sometimes for hours. When they leave, these customers seem different somehow. I s I'd swear I saw one go in and come out in the same clothes, but leave wearing a different face. I must stay alert. I think the shop lad may have noticed me hanging around. I'll give this observation just one more day. Yeah. I'm walk out with a brand new face. Well, take that. 
Makes all sorts, I suppose. More explosions. Okay, he really doesn't want us being in here, does he? No. Mm, yeah, I'll send that again. Okay, nothing here. A bucket? No, we don't need no bucket. Alright, well. Found Dribbles the Clown's foot. Visiting. Nothing to see here. Okay. So, the next murder victim. Actually, I think we need to go back to camp. It's about time we changed up our party makeup again. Um, but Mazora wants to talk with us. Of course she does. Stone, jagged as lightning, what? and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. <laughs> I'm quite content, actually. Whatever you're offering, I'm not inter interested. Oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile, and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Uh, I'm not sure I'm involved with someone else. What's the catch? What are you getting out of this visit? Ooh. Nah, she's a devil. Absolutely not. Dear me, I've overestimated you. Indeed, you have. Trust me, I shan't be making that mistake again. Ta ta. Good riddance. Oh, you're still here. Right, okay. <laughs> Well, let's have a chat with Astarian. Uh, well, let's chat with all our companions. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, you got nothing to say. Uh, I think it's better you stay here in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. That's right. That sounds awful. I wish I could have told Mazora to, like, yeah, go and cheer a story enough. I think he needs it. Um, be a good thing back there. I won't dwell on the matter. I know that's not a sentiment you're accustomed to reveling in, but rest assured, your actions have spoken for themselves. Um, join me, why don't you, darling? There's plenty of adventure to be had. With pleasure. Lead on. 
there, and no rest for the wicked, I see. he's uh, leveled up. So, we'll spend a bit of time doing that. No, we're going over time for this episode, but I think it'll be well worth it. I need to show off uh, Gaia. Alright, so we've got Create Undead. We've got Arcane Gate. Create two linked teleportation portals. Um, oh my god, this would have been so handy. Circle of Death, which I think I can learn, and Chain Lightning. Oh god, these are also good. Oh, Disintegrate. Oh, these are all too good. Too good. Too good. Too good. Sunbeam, Wall of Ice. Well, he's a Necromancer. We've got to take that one. Transmutation, uh, Eye Bite. Dread Sickness or Putting Creatures to Sleep. Uh, okay. It's a good spell. I think we can learn that one too. Uh, but, um... Yeah, Arcane Gate. Very handy. I think we'll grab that. Alright. Level 11 wizard. I think we'll stick with that. Um, let's have a chat with Karlak. He'd hate to hear me say this, but I'm so fucking proud of Astarian. He could have had it all, but he kept his soul instead. I wasn't sure he had it in him, but he's changed so much. Overcome so much darkness. Oh, I could smooch that pointy little face. Why don't you? Sure, he'd appreciate it. So what do you want, Mizora? Come for a chat? Not really. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Astarian didn't fulfill his master's ambitions for himself. At least that means he's his own man. Though, I'm a little surprised he didn't covet those powers. I'm not. Astarian showed restraint where most others wouldn't. He might not appreciate the sentiment, but I'm proud of him. Everyone is. They Tim. say that the only thing a vampire can feel is hunger. Nothing else touches them. Not grief or mercy. Or any sense of what is just. Who knows? There is often more ignorance than insight in what they say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, while we're here, let's, um... Oh, to hell with it. Mm. Whatever it takes. Yeah, Shadowheart's nearly out of spells. Let's, let's do a long not. rest. No, no more. Dapper clothes. And uh, let's go long rest. Oh, someone came with us to speak with you. So, two people. Alright. Let's talk with my dear love Gail. Which I'm gonna be honest, he wasn't my first choice, but I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. Don't worry. I said what Raphael wanted to hear. I have no intention of giving him the crown. I'm glad to hear it. But you realize we can't just tell him we changed our minds. We already know the potential that crown possesses. We read it, written in Carthus' own hand. I thought you understood that. It seems I was mistaken. 
rather put such power in the hands of a devil than in me, your trusted companion. Well, that companionship might prove a rather fleeting one. Uh oh. Oh dear. That's strange. Knowing I'll never hear Cazador's voice again. Knowing it'll never command me to bow against my will. I'm free from him. Forever. How does it feel? Invigorating. Terrifying. All of the above. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand it, really. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but... I do now. Thank you. Hmm. You saved yourself. I just gave you a push. <laughs> you did more than that. You... believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. So, now I'm doubting whether I picked the right romance option, but yeah, oh, you know. It's okay. And uh, before we rest, I think we'll leave that for the next episode. So I'm going to leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I did, and we hope to see you next time. If you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and of course if you want to receive notifications of when each video drops, uh, hit that bell icon. Uh, FYI, they drop at uh, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Brisbane time. That's UTC plus 10 for my international friends. And of course, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, that's enough from me. So until next time, take it easy, everyone. And bye for now.